I'm going to show you an example of solving right triangles with an application that involves the line of sight. Just a little terminology. If you're an observer on the ground and you're looking up at something, let's say you're looking up at a hot air balloon going by, then the angle between you looking up your sight line and looking straight ahead on the horizontal, we call the angle of elevation. If you're up in the hot air balloon and you're looking down, then that angle that you're looking down is called the angle of depression. Let's try this example. So you have a salvage ship that uses sonar to determine the angle of depression to the wreck on the ocean floor. And the angle of depression is 13.25 degrees. Now the depth chart shows that the ocean floor is 40 meters below the surface. So how far do we have to walk? How far does the diver have to walk once he or she is lowered from the salvage ship down to the bottom of the ocean floor? How far are they going to have to walk in order to reach the wreck? And we'll round that to the nearest whole meter. Well, here's just some general guidelines, and then we'll work through the problem. What most students find really helpful is to draw a picture. Many of us are visual learners, and we need a picture to sort out things, to sort out the information. So I always suggest try to draw a picture of this situation first. Once you have the picture, be sure you label it with the given information. And what this, this part does is it kind of forces you to go back and read that problem again and pick out the important pieces of information. Now you've got your picture, you kind of have to organize your thoughts. What do you need to find out? So again, look at the problem again. What are they asking for? And what have you already learned that might help you solve this? So now you're figuring out your strategy for solving. What are the steps that you might take? You're going to implement your strategy. You're going to write out your, your answer, not forgetting the units, of course. You're going to do a reality check. This is really important. Make sure that the answer that you got seems to be within the realm of the possible in terms of our world. So read the problem again. Does your answer seem to make sense? and double check your calculations. And then one last thing, and this is good for our learning, our own understanding, is do you really understand what you just did? Could you explain it to a fellow student or a friend or family member? All right, so that's all pretty abstract. Let's go through this problem. First thing, start with a picture. Now you would just maybe scribble a little picture of a boat on your paper. So here's the salvage boat, and I know that if somebody's standing there at the front of the boat looking down towards that wreck, that's their sight line, and the angle between the horizontal line and the sight line is 13.25 degrees. That's what it means to be an angle of depression. So I'm going to label that fact. And I know another piece of information. I know how deep we are. I know how deep, sorry, I know how deep the wreck is. That wreck, the ocean that's on the ocean floor, is 40 meters below the surface. So I have another little piece here that I can label. The distance from the surface of the ocean down to the wreck is 40 meters. All right, so I think I've got all the important information on there. And what is it that I'm asked to find? Well, how far is it to the ship? If we lower that diver down to the ocean floor and that diver starts walking towards the wreck, how far is that? Well, this side labeled X represents that distance. So that's what I have to find. OK, so how am I going to do that? Well, I've got to come up with an equation to solve. And we're in trigonometry, so this is probably going to involve a trigonometric function. And I look at what I have. I have an angle, 13.25 degrees, and I know 
The side opposite that angle is 40 meters, and I'm trying to find the side that's adjacent to that angle. So I think, aha, the tangent is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. So the tangent of 13.25 must equal 40 over x. Now I have an equation that I can solve. So I'm going to work through a little bit of algebra. I'm going to multiply both sides by x. And then I'm going to divide out the tangent of 13.25 to isolate x. And finally, I'm going to plug this all into my calculator. And I'm going to round off that result to the nearest whole meter, according to the instructions. And I get x is approximately 170 meters.